This is Shubus E2. It's their premium flip front adventure helmet and I'll show you how to remove and refit the outer visor on this helmet. If you're here because you want to know how to change the sun visor, then please follow the link that should be popping up on screen now or it's in the description to our video about the C5 because the sun visor procedure is identical to the C5 and it's just as easy to watch it on there. If you go to one minute and 30, then you'll see how to do the sun visor. But if you're here for the main visor, then stick around. First of all, we have to remove the peak. That involves spinning this release wheel here until the arrow here is pointing at the open padlock. So we'll turn that there, pull that away, really easy. Same on this side, rotate around to the open padlock and that's the peak away. You can wear the helmet like this, by the way, this is what they call street mode. So if you find the peak is a bit noisy, you can ride perfectly well like this. Now for removing the main visor, we'll start with it lifted. Just get the sun visor down and out of the way. Start with it lifted and the easiest way to do this helmet is as I am now. It's from the rear of the helmet with it pointing away from you. I'll show you first the release levers that you need to do. So these levers here need to be clicked forward like that. So we'll do the other side as well. Those are both clicked. Now with the helmet on a flat surface and pointing away, all you do is rotate it over rotate it backwards, pull away, and that's it clear. Really, really easy. To refit it, it's just as simple, but not quite as simple to show you. So there's a recess in the gear mechanism here that's just above that release lever. The key things we need, this tab here on the visor needs to go into the recess just above that release lever. So above the top of that release lever there, there's a recess in the gear mechanism. So we'll place that in there like that. Turn the helmet, we'll do the same on this side. And then we'll rotate the visor back towards the front of the helmet. Listening for the clicks for it to have gone back into place. We just wanna check then that these two levers have returned to their original position, which they have. Give that visor a couple of checks. And that's it, done. The last job is to put the peak back on. So check that those wheels are still spun so the arrow is pointing at the open padlock. Kind of offer them up to these here until you feel them seat into place. And then you should nice and easily be able to turn those wheels back to the locked position if everything's in place correctly. There we go. And that's that. Now, there's something else I could show you here, which is how to adjust the height of the peak. There are three settings for the peak. What you need to do is pull these tabs here, lower them, both sides. This one's stiffer than the one on the other side. So pull those down. This is currently in its highest position. We've got a middle position and a lowest position. And when you've got what you, the position you want, just pull those tabs back up and it's locked into place. So that's how you remove and refit the peak and the main visor on a Shoebirth E2. Thanks for watching.